PyCharm 2018.2 is out with lots of new features. PipBib integration, PyTest fixtures and BDD, REST preview, and improvements to VCS, web development, and more. Let's take a look. 2018.2 delivers several big Python features, starting with support for the popular PimpM tool for managing Python environments. Open a project locally or from VCS, and if it has a pip file, PyCharm will create a local environment as the project interpreter. Then, when you open a Python file, PyCharm will ask if you want to install the dependencies from the pipfile.log file. For new projects, use the Project Interpreter panel to create a pipinf-based project interpreter. All PyCharm activities for managing packages, such as the quick fix for a missing package, now run through pipinf. PyCharm helps you get into development flow by integrating activities such as reading library documentation. In 2018.2, our quick documentation viewer got a major facelift. PyCharm's visual testing features for PyTest have been a recent focus. In 2018.2, PyTest fixture support is much better. Foremost, fixture arguments are now supported with discovery and fixture files, autocomplete, Quick information, type inference on return value, navigation, and more. PyCharm 2018.2 also supports PyTest parameterize. Autocomplete the mark, then supply parameters. PyCharm now warns you that your test function is missing the arguments defined in parameterize and autocompletes as you provide them. Behavior Driven Development, or BDD, has been featured in PyCharm Professional for years, and support is now added for PyTest BDD. First, set PyTest BDD as the preferred BDD framework for the project. When writing your feature file, PyCharm will warn you when no test file matches your steps. Then, let PyCharm generate the test file steps for you. Each step is generated with a stub and the correct decorator, with temporary function names and implementations. Once implemented, feature steps can be fixtures for other steps, with autocomplete working as expected. PDD feature steps can supply values as parameters. These values can be extracted and supplied as arguments to the test function. Finally, PyCharm supports PyTest BDD's scenario outlines to define parameters and examples for multiple values. These can be converted and extracted into step arguments. Like PyCharm's preview of Markdown and want the same for restructured text? PyCharm 2018.2 now lets you edit your RST and preview it side by side with support for headings, tables, code blocks, links, and other DocuTils directives. PyCharm 2018.2 brings a long list of other improvements to our Python subsystem. Auto-completion and error checking in adders, checks and quick fixes for async await, and only show variables on demand when debugging, and more. PyCharm's visual versioning tool is a well-liked part of the IDE with several improvements in 2018.2. For example, PyCharm now supports multiple GitHub accounts, making it a breeze to switch between them. Also in 2018.2, multiple tabs with diff preview, and browsing a repository at a specific revision. PyCharm Professional integrates DataGrip, or IDE for SQL, and 2018.2 includes improvements for databases. Working to optimize queries, PyCharm now lets you visually inspect query plan data as part of increasing performance. PyCharm Professional bundles WebStorm, which has a number of high-impact features in this release. Not sure which of your JavaScript code is in use? Our JavaScript debug run configurations now support Run with Coverage. Click around in your application, then run the report. PyCharm will indicate unused code. Refactoring React components is much easier. Let the IDE do it for you. Select some code to extract and refactor into a standalone class or function with relevant props. 
Then, use refactor to move that code into its own file, letting the IDE do the imports to the parent. Finally, switch between functional components and class components. Then, back again. Angular 6 and its CLI now eases adding new libraries to existing projects with ng-add and schematics. PyCharm makes it easy, for example, to add an Angular dependency on Angular Material, which installs the package and modifies your app to integrate it. As you develop your projects, use Angular schematics from within PyCharm to add new capabilities, such as a Material Dashboard. PyCharm is built atop the IntelliJ IDEA platform with many improvements in the IDE for 2018.2. For example, much thought and work went into a new icon scheme, reducing the usage of color to help emphasize what is important. Also, for MacBook Pro users, 2018.2 ships with context-sensitive touch bar support. PyCharm 2018.2 is a significant release with several big-ticket improvements. PipEmp, PyTest, RST Preview, Quick Documentation, and improvements in database, PCS, web, and platform. We hope you enjoyed this release, and thanks for watching this What's New video.